What's up, Source Fed Movie Club? So this week we watched the movie End of Watch. End of Watch came out last year, and I actually watched this movie in theaters. I'm really glad we actually watched it again because I really wanted to see it a second time, so watching it again, I liked it even more. Uh, it stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Pena, Anna Kendrick, and David Ayer directs it. You might know David Ayer because he also did Harsh Times and Street Kings, and he kind of keeps with the same formula he knows of cop drama, cop action movies. That's just kind of his thing. Um, he's very hit or miss. This movie is a definite hit. A quick review of this movie, I loved it. I think it's great. I would think it was even better the second time through. I got to see some other stuff that I kind of missed last time. I would recommend this movie to everybody, but I got you to know they say the word fuck over 300 times in it. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about letting your kids watch it or whatever. This movie is about two officers who work for the LAPD and their daily grind that they have to go through in South Central, which is one of the most dangerous places for cops. The very beginning of this movie really sets the pace for this movie. Uh, this starts out with a car chase and a shootout and the movie never really slows down. That kind of sets the pace for it. It makes you know something big is going to happen to these guys. And this movie shows that these guys have a lot of innocent calls that they're actually going to go on, but when they go on them, they actually turned out to be really life-threatening for him. One of the scenes that really stuck out to me was the kids scene. Um, that was really sad and really hard to watch, but I actually thought it was going to end worse than it did, so take that for what you will. So the bad guy in this is kind of this guy named Big Evil. You see him throughout the movie here and there. This guy, Big Evil, if you really take a look at it, he looks like Tom Hardy's character from Bronson. If you haven't seen Bronson, I suggest you watch it. He kind of even acts like him. He's just like very crazy in the head. Now the two cops, Michael Pena and Jake Gyllenhaal, have very good chemistry with each other. They play off each other very well. Um, they give each other a hard time, but you can tell that they really care about each other. They love each other like brothers. Even through a lot, a lot of the movie, you'll see that they will do anything to protect each other. You can see that these guys always have each other's back. They have great chemistry. To me, it's like a very military style thing. It's what I'm used to. It's you do anything to protect your brothers and your sisters no matter what. They're there to protect you and you protect them. You watch each other's backs. That's the whole point of it. There's a bunch of different crimes that these guys go to and eventually they start snooping around in the wrong places. They're striving to do more and become better and continue and to find like what's actually going on behind the scene. But unfortunately they attract the attention of other bad guys throughout this movie and that's what kind of builds up to the very end of this movie. What I really liked about this movie is how they really humanize the cops. They showed the relationship with their partners. Uh, they showed Michael Pena and his wife and his kids and they showed Jake Gyllenhaal uh, meeting a girl and finally getting married and they show how they are always there for each other even when they're not on duty on the force. That's what I really liked about this movie is how much these guys cared about each other. It's their character development, especially Jake Gyllenhaal's character. They really go in depth into Jake Gyllenhaal's character which I really liked and I really thought it was really good to watch. You know, while this movie's filmed like a documentary, you can imagine that there's like a lot of the camera shake in it, but that didn't bug me in this movie. I didn't think it was too terrible. There were a couple scenes where I was like, how are they getting this shot? But I didn't realize it until the, the second time around. I was like, well, how do they get that shot when the cameras are on them and there's no camera around them? But it didn't matter. The first time I watched it, though, I was totally into the movie and I didn't even realize it. So this movie's well worth the watch. Great characters, great story. They try to end the movie on a happy note, even though bad stuff happens throughout the movie. But there's a lot, a pretty good underlying comedy in the very end of it. And I'm really glad that they had that because it was really funny. And I was almost like, did Michael Pena make that up when he was talking about it? Because it was really funny. But uh, that's my review. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I can't wait to see what we do next week. And I'll talk to you later, movie club. Bye.